Hello everyone, welcome to part 186 of Lara Valent series in which we are cutting the multi vendor e commerce website. So, we will continue working on the newsletter subscription. And in this video, we are going to show the newsletter subscribers that we have added in the database in the last video. We able to add two entries in the uh, our uh, newsletter subscriber table uh, in the last video with the help of this header. And in this video, we are going to show uh, uh this module subscriber module at the uh, admin panel in which we're going to show these two emails along with the active inactive and lead functionality okay so let's start see this link we have already added but we have not added any pairs so far so i'm going to open the sidebar as well i just want to see that how the link is looking so see new data we are going to open the new data here or subscriber here okay so uh, see extra modules we have already removed okay so only the main modules have left that we have worked on so subscribers here uh, user subscribers so link is also fine everything seems to be fine here so uh, now uh, we will continue and we will create the controller as well newsletter controller we require at the admin so we are going to create the controller here php artisan make controller and this controller we are going to add inside the admin admin slash newsletter controller we are going to name it newsletter controller okay so i'm going to open this controller as well newsletter controller and here uh sorry this is newsletter subscriber i'm going to open from here app ltp controller here in admin and this one is our new newsletter controller okay so we are going to create the route now in web.php file i'm going to create the route in the admin okay here we are going to create uh, i'm going to make it like newsletter subscribers okay and here we are going to create the get route to show the newsletter subscriber and uh, what we have given given the link subscribers we will just give the subscribers here okay and here we will give the newly created uh, model uh, that controller new letter controller uh, we can copy the controller file name here controller name here okay we can paste here and after that we are going to create the new function new letter or we can simply create subscriber functions subscribers okay so this subscribers the spelling of the subscriber must be correct subscribers okay so these subscribers i'm going to check the spelling that it is fine or not uh, yeah it is fine okay so this function we are going to create inside new data controller okay so uh, create here the function public function subscribers and here uh, First thing is we are going to use the session uh, here uh, because in sidebar we require here the session subscriber session so we will start the session here session put in uh, we are page like this one okay so after the, this we are going to add here subscribers equal to uh, newsletter subscriber here model model we require I'm going to open the model as well. Uh, this is our model. So new data subscriber model we require. We are going to fetch all the subscribers from the newsletter underscore subscribers table. I'm going to pick and uh, we can convert to the array as well. If you want to convert to array, otherwise object is also fine. We can check once uh, like uh, subscriber we able to list the subscribers or not. Do and die here like this so we're going to check here that we able to uh, fetch the subscriber and here we're going to add the model as well subscribe model app model and this model name is new data subscriber okay so we are going to check once here i'm going to click on this subscriber and here you can see we require to add here session as well now we are going to check once again and here we are able to fetch both the emails that we have added in the last video with the help of cedar okay so 
now we can comment this one and this subscriber uh, we are going to return uh, we are going to create the blade file as well in our next step that we are going to create under admin then subscribers and then uh, we can create again subscribers dot blade dot php file in which we are going to return these we compact this subscriber we're going to go to return to that file okay so now uh, i'm going to create here this is my folder resources views admin okay and here uh, we required to create the subscribers folder subscribers like we have users and here in this folder we are going to create the new file in mac we need to create the file like this touch subscribers dot blade.php if you are in windows you can simply go inside the folder and create and can create new file with this name subscribers.blade.php okay so i'm going to open this file here subscribers dot blade dot php okay so this is our file i'm going to uh, copy from some other file like uh, we are having the users dot blade dot php file so that we will get the complete format uh, that admin design so i'm going to paste it here so here i'm going to make changes uh, but this success uh, okay we can keep for now here i'm going to make it subscribers okay so uh, here as well i'm going to make it subscribers we're going to create for the data table this id and here we are going to have id uh, email id email status id email status and one more subscribed on one more table we are going to uh, one more field we are going to have that is subscribed on on which date the user subscribed okay subscribe s u b s c r i b e d subscribe on okay so here uh we are using the subscriber we're going to use here here also subscriber and uh, now here we are going to uh, use in place of user we are going to have the subscriber everywhere uh, but we are going to remove all this we will just ha have id email and after email we are going to have uh, that date uh, that as well that uh, created at okay so that we are going to have here uh, created at later on we will update its format as well okay so after this uh, then in place of dollar user we are going to use here the dollar subscriber okay subscriber that's it okay so I am going to check here whether we able to show the subscribers here yes we able to show the subscribers two of the subscribers here you can see okay so these are the subscribers and uh, we able to list two of the subscribers and uh, now uh, we are required to uh, update custom.js file here we need to add the subscribers we need to call this data table for the subscribers model subscribers okay uh, these subscribers we have added for the table here you can see and we have used it for the data table and we can refresh now and you can see now the better format with search pagination okay so now the search will uh, will work fine you can see okay so but we don't have any subscribe date so far but that if when we will update the uh, from here then we will have the date as well okay so now uh, uh, no other than this uh, we are going to modify here we are going to add here like uh, we can able to make it active or inactive and also we are going to add the delete feature okay so that thing also we are going to do uh, so here we can see id email subscribe or status one more we are going to add here and that is for the actions okay action if, if any particular action we want to perform like the delete action okay 
so uh, we can uh, have from any other uh, here we are going to add this td one more td we are going to add it after this td okay so here we will just have the delete feature so this is okay so we are going to check once and here instead of brand we are going to have the subscriber okay so now we are going to refresh here okay actions also now we are having uh, so okay so we are going to continue working on this one and uh, update subscriber uh, status okay so for that uh, we are going to modify here and we're going to add its route as well okay so like we are having these two routes we can copy uh, from any of the module okay uh, we can copy from here as well update user status in the same way we are going to have here update subscriber status okay update subscriber status and here new data controller and here update uh, subscriber status once again subscriber status okay so this one we will add i'm going to copy from any other module user controller add the admin i'm going to copy this update user status and here i'm going to copy this one and we will modify and here i'm going to use here. okay so i'm going to use here uh, subscriber update user status instead of update user status we are going to have here the update subscriber status i'm going to close these files and now i'm also going to close this one uh, here now i'm going to give here update, update subscriber status here okay so here we are going to modify here as well here I'm going to give here the new data subscriber this one this model and we're going to update from the subscriber ID here we're going to add here subscriber ID subscriber ID. okay so we are going to check once if uh, it is working fine but no it will not update uh we need to update the custom.js file as well the admin and here like we have the update status for all uh, we're going to have the update status for the subscriber as well like update user status here i'm going to copy this one and we paste here update subscriber status and here we're going to update for subscriber underscore id subscriber also we are going to update for this subscribe so here also update subscribe status okay now we are going to check here i'm going to refresh and we'll uncheck see it's uncheck and i'm going to refresh it no it is not working so i'm going to see what is the issue is coming uh, update user status okay it is showing update user status so we need to modify this one uh, we will go there in subscriber to update here we need to modify this and here we require to update update subscriber status here in place of update user status now it is fine and here also we are going to modify for all here we are going to make it subscriber okay and make sure that we don't have any other user uh, no now it is fine now i'm going to refresh once again and let's see if we if, if it will work fine i'm going to uncheck this one this time uncheck this one i'm going to refresh it is working fine status is zero right now for both the fields okay you can see the status is zero right now if i enable one of the status here here uh, click on browse and here you can see the status is there one okay another one yes now it is fine okay okay status is one for both the columns so uh, now we will uh, move further with the delete feature okay so that also we are going to do 
uh, we can uh, get it added uh, see this one we have done lot of time uh, we can simply copy from any of the uh, another module and can uh, do it like the delete subscriber and here also we're going to make it new letter controller and then lead subscriber once again it will save our time of doing the things okay so in the same way like uh, i'm going to open any any of the module like cms controller i'm going to open and here i'm going to add okay and i can add it like we are deleting the page here we are going to delete the uh, lead that uh, uh, subscriber okay so i'm going to copy here uh, from here and going to add it here okay and here i'm going to add lead subscriber so uh, i'm going to lead lead subscriber here lead subscriber and this one we are going to lead uh, subscriber has been lit successfully subscriber has been lit successfully uh, here make sure that everything is fine lead lead subscriber message subscriber has been lit successfully uh, okay so it seems to be fine let's see let's uh, delete any of the email id and if we are going to delete see uh, we are having the that uh, sweet alert okay so if you will click on cancel it will not lead and if you click yes delete it it will lead here okay and here the message will come subscriber has been lit successfully so it is working fine as well so i want to tell you that in subscriber bread file we are already having this uh, uh that we have copied from other module only thing we need to pass here the subscriber as a module and subscriber id as a module id that uh, we will use here in custom.js in which we are using this confirm lead the common jquery function for all the modules okay earlier on we used to make it static but right now we are using as a common module for for all the modules we are using this jquery function here we are getting the module as well as the module id okay uh, so that we can able to delete and we can able to redirect to the particular page okay so and in the same way uh, we are making the status active and inactive and we have just copied that uh, jquery function and uh, on, on the basis of this class we can able to make the status active or inactive okay uh so by making the function here like update subscriber status to make the status active or inactive if it is active we will make it inactive if it is inactive we will make it active so in the next video uh we are going to add the subscriber emails from here the user will fill the email and will click on submit and the thanks message will come to the user and uh, the email will get registered here so that thing we are going to do in the next video so please stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time.